that's how one leaves behind this negativity that plagues so many people in the world. Gratitude. Knowing how unique you are, knowing how much you receive from this existence. Knowing that even existing is an amazing experience. <laughs> Namaskar Hanna. So, my question is about how to get rid of negative thoughts and negative thinking. Because sometimes I, everything I think about is negative, or even if it's not, I think in a negative way about it. And I'm complaining about like everything, the smaller things. And I also see that I'm not nice to others when I'm like in this phases of all this negative thinking and thoughts, so how to get rid of it? One of the ways to get rid of it, or to leave it behind actually, it's not even getting rid of it, it's like leaving it behind, growing out of it, you know, is to remind yourself at least once a day, at least once a day, about what all you have received in this life, you know, what all you have, as support systems for your existence, you know. That includes the people around you, it includes the food you eat, just to be grateful. The moment you train yourself, and you can train yourself for that, if you really want to, you can train yourself. You put an alarm every day, and it's your gratitude alarm. Just once a day, because you're not the only one on this planet who's like this, there are a lot of people, and the more a person has, the less gratitude they experience, that's the other side of the story. So, you live in the West, you have basically enough food, you have a roof above your head, you have health, you have access to care, you have a lot, you know. But if you don't remind yourself of this, you can fall into that, and apart from all of that, you look beautiful, you don't look just average, you look very beautiful, and so, that's what everybody wants, right? And then still, if that kind of thing is there, that means that something is not okay, and what is not okay is, there's no gratitude in the system, no surrender, you know, or less of it. So, one way to start to leave this rubbish behavior behind, of being negative about everything, and as I said, you're not the only one, the world is full of such people, the way to leave that stuff behind is to, Put on your gratitude alarm, followed by your surrender knock on the head. If that alarm rings, you know it's the gratitude alarm, and you put yourself in a state of gratitude, at least thank for one thing you've received. There's no other way out of it, because one can try all kinds of psychological processes, it doesn't work. The spiritual process is very clear, it is, put that alarm on, put it on, and every time that alarm rings, you're going to tell yourself, this is a moment of gratitude for the fact that I'm alive. It's an unusual thing, Hana, you know, to be in a body in this universe. I mean, show me where else there are people in bodies. It's an unusual thing, there are only seven billion such cases in the entire universe, which has multi, multi trillions of stars. We know of only one place, where there are embodied beings like we are. So it's a very exciting and interesting experience to live through this, and, and that gratitude should be there, I mean, it's a gratitude for being alive, it's a gratitude for being in a, in a healthy body, you know? So many unhealthy people in this world, Anna, so many, so many, it's unbelievable how many people are suffering with pain, they don't even have access to medicines, they can't get rid of that pain, imagine. To be in a healthy body, you know, these are just simple things, one has to be deeply, deeply grateful for, otherwise what life does is, it comes and it will teach you to be grateful in a much, much, much harsher way. Like, you know that suffering is imposed on people when they refuse to consciously tune in and live from the Truth, and living from the Truth means being grateful, just once a day at least. And gradually, as you do that, you will leave behind this... this 
addiction to thinking negatively about things. Most people in the in the world, in the first world, which is now all over the world, they 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 tend to be very cranky and negative about things because they don't practice gratitude. Gratitude is not something one is born with, one has to learn it and practice it. I'm grateful for this this mind which is clear, I'm grateful for this ability at clear thought, I'm grateful for this strong, healthy and beautiful body I have. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm able, at least some of the time, to recognize when I'm in an emotional state and to be able to pull myself out of it. I'm grateful for the ability to be artistic and creative. These are the things one has to be grateful for, and when you are grateful, that negativity just dissolves. And otherwise it's not going to dissolve. And what's going to happen is, life will do it. So why, why allow life to do it when you can do it? In other words, the ego will take charge of your system and cause suffering, rather than you, Hannah, daughter of Beatrice, allowing the Truth to determine what you're doing. And at one point you have to start doing it, because knowing it as an idea in the head is not enough. It also needs action. I'm sure you're doing it also, I'm not saying you're not, but that's what... that's how one leaves behind this negativity that plagues so many people in the world. Gratitude. Knowing how unique you are, knowing how much you receive from this existence. Knowing that even existing is an amazing experience. Stand tonight outside, go outside and look up at the sky, look at the billions and billions of light years away, stars all over the place, and how many bodies are there in this universe that we know about? Not that many. We are on this little planet, little planet, this little planet, somewhere in this big universe, and we are seven billion of us, and it's quite something, you know? Don't forget the larger picture, don't stay in a worm's eye view of life, move into the eagle's eye and start looking down at this Earth and what's going on on it sometimes. It's not about the worm's eye view always, it's both, you know. Gratitude is the key. Yes. Thank you, Namaskar. Namaskar, Hannah. Thank mm -hmm. you.